hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl simply k back with another video 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 today's video is all about how i make my digital cash envelope tracker sheet using my ipad using the um app called good notes so if you're interested in seeing how i make it stay tuned and let's get right into the video So, first things first, we are going to open up Good Notes. Just bear with me, guys. I have to use the ring light. It's not good lighting. So, basically, I just pull up a sheet on my Good Notes app. If you hit this little button up here, it'll show you all the um, pages in this in this document in my notebook. So, these are my old ones. So, if you scroll over, see my old ones, and then I do have some that are just blank, that I duplicated. But what I'm gonna do is show you how to make the tracker. I'm just gonna pull up it on my phones. So first thing we're gonna start with is adding in this picture. So it is a picture that I just got from Google of a calculator. As you guys know, I used to use the sticker from the Happy Planners notebook. So I wanted to keep that same thing cause I just thought it was cute. So that'll go right in the corner. Double click that. Then we're gonna add in a shape. So I usually don't, I usually use a text box for this, but I think for now I'm gonna be doing this little box. So I love this because I cannot draw straight and I don't have to worry about my lines not being right with um, using it digitally. You just fix it. I did not mean to duplicate that. So what I wanna do is move this over a little bit. So there we go. For this, we're going to put in the text box. So I'm still like getting used to this, so bear with me. Gonna hit the, so we're gonna do plan, and then we're gonna, we're gonna zoom that down a whole lot. So then you drag it, put it over there. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want. Boom, click. Okay, so then that's done. And I always make a mess. So then we go on to this part. So usually I put like a little picture of the month. I will just show you guys what I used for the past months because we use this one. And the last one probably will keep it to be honest. But just because I don't have any stickers. So we're gonna make that big, throw that over there. Then we're gonna do the text box again. Put that all the way down and type in paycheck because this will be onto the right side. This is going to be on the other side. So I'm just gonna put paycheck one and then we'll move this over here. And then just for like purposes for this video, I'll put just a random date. So black, so I will do O, one, 26. Just say we got paid on 26. Close that. Okay, so then that would be that. Then we're gonna go into my favorite part is making these boxes. So you click on the shapes. This is my favorite part of not doing it in my sketchbook. Just watch how like, how trash this is. So boom, the square is perfect y'all. And then, you can make it as big or as small as you want and that's my favorite part like boom there we have it and then we're gonna go into making another one for the sinking funds and i just love you can just have no energy whatsoever doing it now this one's a little bit bigger so i make this a little bit bigger then we're gonna go in the text box again around like 22 black then we're gonna put cash on the loops drag that right there now what i want to do is copy and then i want to paste and then i'm gonna switch this to sinking funds sinking funds Boom, 
there you have it. The titles, obviously, you can make that um, different, but you get the gist. Like, you just put in the text, and then you go right into that. So, basically, that is that. Then you go in with the same shape maker, and you draw lines. So, I usually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines across. Let's do one, two, three, four, five six seven and eight now that's a little messed up because obviously i'd be like taking my time more but then we do one two three four five across this one's usually for the money so one then you leave a big line for you to write in you can write them in or you can type them in i usually type them in just so it's nice and neat but you can write them in the envelopes so then you have that and then you go down and you just I just do the same thing so for sticking funds I have one two three four five six seven eight I'm just gonna do eight because I don't stuff two of them as of right now it's just nice that like your line can be like as trash as possible and it connects it corrects it for you so then that's pretty much you have your whole boxes let me zoom out for you and that is like the exact replica of what I use. Now to type in here the um, your envelopes, if you want to type it, you just go to text box. You click, make sure you have your sizing down. So then I'll show you the money sign. You take it, you drag it right there. And then you'll put in all your money comments, I mean money comments, your um, amounts. And then what's easy about this, so if you like your sizing, we're going to go like this. Copy, come over here, paste, there we go. And then you can just type in what you want. So gas slash toll. Sometimes like clicking on them. So you can either write envelopes here, um, like I have. I have it under as envelopes, Ooh. envelopes, and then the gas and toll, but it doesn't really matter. You know that they're your envelopes, but I'm just like OCD about it. So I have envelopes, all the categories up the top. And then I'll have like my 20s, my 10s, and my 5s. So you just go in and you put in text boxes in each of them. And then what I will show you is if you're not familiar with GoodNotes, you can turn off the pen so that if you're doing anything, you're not writing anything, you can zoom in. This is how I found that if you write it, it looks about better. So you go to the pen, you zoom in, and you can write gas, toll, zoom out, boom. So you can just write them if you want. Sometimes I think writing it would probably be easier because me with the texting is just too much with not getting the font right, the color right. So you can go ahead and do that. And then that's how I fill in this part. I will go to the pen, change the color to something cute, probably pink. Ooh. And then write in that we're going to stuff $500. You know, that's the plan. Stuff $500. And boom. So you have your calculator up there with your amount all cute and pink and then you just fill in everything whether it's with a text box or writing it out and that is pretty much it i'm not going to go in and fill it out because it's just repetitive so you either text box it or you write it so it's pretty much whatever you want to do you can find any images you want and then so you can use a highlighter to highlight you guys probably see on some of my videos that i highlight ones that i don't fill in the fun thing about it is you can Go like that and it straightens out your line too so everything you do is like great because it makes it perfect because if you're writing this on paper you know your lines are all jacked up but that is that if you want to purchase good notes you do have to pay for it in the app the app store i thought it would be a good investment i use it for a whole bunch of stuff when i don't feel like writing oh it's 7.99 so what i can see is 7.99 so if you're okay with paying 7.99 
that's all you have to pay and you get access to all this and you can do so much with GoodNotes. You can change things into PDFs, print them out. You can write on everything. Um, if you download PDFs, you can put them into GoodNotes and then write on them. So it's a really good app to have. $7.99 is not bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Sorry that the quality isn't the best with the lighting and that you can see the ring light because that's annoying to me. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.